It's still early. Where to now? Ta! Welcome to the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. <laughs> I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Penaconi's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director! Change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. <gasps> Let me see here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! You're confident. Good. A confident performer tends to delight the audience with surprises. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. Joking with the examiner during an exam, you have a desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Oh, I get what you mean. The ability to not shy away from danger can bring great value when filmmaking. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition, where you then boarded a train of trailblaze. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and you ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme or perhaps a dream that belongs solely to you?
It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. Open theme can encourage creativity. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were clever, like an astute producer. Combined with your experience in dealing with the Interastral Peace Corporation, the best academy for you is Fortune Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? Of course. I respect my performer's wishes. Which academy would you like your role to be in? I see. Your choice may not be correct, but a wrong choice can often make a story more exciting. The audition is over. You are now a student of Fortune Academy. Here is your student card. Drama concealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. My exam is over. I'll wait for March 7th and Don Hong. Looks good. Sealed within this campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Academy instead of Charmony Academy. I really thought I had the acting chops. Now I have to go pour concrete in Dream's Edge. It's not fair. Did you accept the assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. 
It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So, I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy did you get? Whoa, I heard lots of rich people come from Fortune Academy. Old classmate, don't forget me once you're rich. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Don Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer? walk. Hello, and welcome to the dessert club. Dessert club? Did you make all these yourself? That's awesome! Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, but we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slimmer Nana Monkey's popularity, 
all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Hung makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Von Wok rainforests, the intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning, and the extinct golden slum banana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. This banana looks familiar. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to dreamscape cooking. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing, as Donna's specialty cinnamon and the hotel's special chili sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because Paperfold University students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. Oh, wow. This flavor. I've never tasted a banana this good. Oh, this dessert is so tasty. I feel so happy. I can still taste the sweetness on my tongue after eating it. Awesome! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> it feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart. Whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too! I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Qu questions uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Uh, feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Oh uh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey! Oh, uh, welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I, I'm Peel and Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us? Of course. You're the festive superstar, the nameless and Panacone shareholders. Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forums were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. Banana Nana! Banana Nana! The toy talks? This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock, so act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 Alpha Alpha credits. It's duty-free and has a six-month warranty. We also support payment with credits.
This is the lowest price, buddy. You can't even buy a meal in the golden hour with this amount of credits. Oh, wonderful, huh? Thank you for your purchase. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. What? Well, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> the demand is too high right now. Uh, the toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. You flatter me, buddy. Uh, these are normal business practices. You'll learn about them in class. Don't worry, once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. No, I'll personally deliver it to you. Uh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Why is there a crowd blocking the way? Looks good. Uh, hi, excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait, don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. School uniforms aren't free. Go buy one from the faculty office. Wait, President, I've read about them on the paperfold forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penacone shareholders? My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm? Or my home? Ugh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Oh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. Um, is that the person up ahead? Oh, darn, it's her! Ha! Found you! You're not getting away this time! Ninja Nishikigaku, it seems our time of rest is coming to an end! You're right, Dazzling Ninja! They are the warriors of this land! No, they're the evil spirits drawn to our sins! Lamentable. My ninja's speed isn't fast enough to outrun cause and effect! The ninja's blade can and must sever the chain of cause and effect! Your determination is admirable. Ninja Nishikigaku, you have already stepped into the ninja hero domain. <gasps> Do you hear that? Evil spirit be reduced to ashes before our ninjutsu! Huh? Are we going to fight? What are you waiting for, warriors? Fight us! Unbelievable! You, from the Performing Arts Club! That woman next to you is in big trouble. Don't become an accomplice. So, is she a member of your club? No, I think she came from outside the campus. But look how in character she is! She's perfect! Shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gagaku was purely happenstance. But I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. Uh, 
Do you know her? So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. Ha! The tyrannical official retreated in the face of such extraordinary fighters! Victory for the ninjas! You! Put on your school uniform or it's a demerit! Baseball Bat Ninja, it is good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, Nameless Ninjas. I am Rappa, aka the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless Ninjas? Are you talking about the Nameless? Well, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he's Don Hung. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu! Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja Hiryu Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um, she's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Chunibyo? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a Ninja 2 planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball Bat Ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together. Uh, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course. That is exactly why I'm here. But before that, there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Ah! Stupid student council! This is discrimination! I get a free concert ticket! <gasps> You're still here! Thank goodness! Ninja Nishikigaku, what ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character! Use my stage name! Nana Bloom John! Classmate from Tokiwa calls me that. Isn't it cute? You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! Uh, that's a really long name. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great. Let's take some photos together. If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigigaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test more than the models. My apologies. I am unfamiliar with this particular ninja tool. It's best I leave it to you. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck! As for a prop... <gasps> Let's use the slumber nanomonkey to 
joy! All right, make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shot. Ninja, your photo ninjutsu is exquisite! Huh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand audition, too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun! <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me. Why have you been following us all this time? Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was a mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. The uh, seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Silvergun Shura! Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title, Ninja Hero! Uh, they both mean the same thing? Well, so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but... Why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu, you and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Realm, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penakami is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his feelings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Uh huh. Do you know what she's talking about? Forget I asked. <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. Hmm. Would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. And sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. And that's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But you ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Huh? Carol, fork in the 
hell? Pardon me for asking, but this is your seventh drink, and you've only had a sip from each. Is there something the matter with them? <laughs> no, <laughs> it ain't like that. These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rappa, but... I don't see anything strange going on here. Ask you one last time. Do you have any taste at all? This place is useless sitting here empty, but if we put a slumber nana statue here and build a plaza, it'll instantly become a landmark of Dreamflux Reef. We'll be able to get ahead of the family again. Uh, it doesn't matter what you say. You can't just stake your claim on this place. No one's going to accept that. Then who should we listen to? Micah hasn't said anything. There's no reason to delay. I'm going to put this here today, or... Huh? Who are you? Now come off it, partner. I ain't even said anything yet. I, I don't care what beef y'all got. Just uh, make way, will you? <laughs> So what? You hired this guy to be your thug? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know this man either. But thug or no, our position isn't going to change. Then I'm done playing nice. <sighs> Fork in hell. You hard of hearing or something? Do I have to let my gun do the talking? All right then. Hope you're ready to get shot. There's no need for that, sir. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. Please, put your gun away. I'm afraid that's too much excitement for those of us who've already died once. Who are you now? What kind of show are they running here? <sighs> Forget it. The world's complicated enough as it is, but my bullets will make things real simple. Act first, think later. You bet your fork and bananas I'm teaching all of you a lesson today. Huh? Wait a sec. The fudge was that? Bet your bananas would... When the bananas did I start saying fudge and bananas? Bananas. Son of a banana. Oh, what the banana fudge and Sunday. <sighs> Micah, I thought you don't get involved in these matters. I'm just putting up a decoration everyone likes. I'm not hurting anybody. First, I find it hard to believe that everyone likes those monkeys. Second, I just happened to be passing by. I saw a friend and came to say hello. Friend? That's right. Though, truth be told, I don't remember your name anymore. I've met too many people over the last few years. But I still remember those eyes. This is great. Everyone can make their own dreams here. That's what you said when you first arrived. Your eyes gleamed with spirit. Don't forget the aspirations you once had. 
Do you have to say these things out in the open? You need to fix your bad habit of lecturing people. There's a reason why things become popular. You'll understand someday. But fine. <laughs> I'll back off for today. I'll be back. Let's go. Uh, hold on! You banana my Sunday. Oh, forget it. Guess I could afford to say less. Uh, hey, um, where are you going? Let them be. At the very least, they harbor no ill will towards you. And they certainly don't have the courage to do anything anyway. Right, Mr. Ranger? <laughs> Finally, someone sensible. you want to ask. A Galaxy Ranger's gunshot rings loud and clear. And Dreamflux Reef isn't so isolated that we don't hear what's going on outside our walls. Well, it's good to know I didn't waste my shot. But, uh, gotta say, <laughs> I've seen it all now. The atmosphere here is real strange. I mean, statues of monkeys. Oh, it's just a fad among youngsters. If you ask me, it's even stranger that a Galaxy Ranger is in Dreamflux Reef. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? You don't gotta beat around the bush. Can't you just tell by looking at me? Banana Sunday. Yeah, everything's bananas. I came here to help someone, and now I'm the biggest ruckus around here. Son of a banana, just tell me what's going on with that monkey. <sighs> it wasn't that long ago, but they arrived just as suddenly as you did. Huh? Did I miss something? Who's they? They call themselves Assistant Annas. They look like the Sweet Dreams troop, except much stranger. They came here to advertise something called the Slumbered Anna Monkey. Maybe it's the appearance or the cultural significance, just like every other thing that was once trendy. I don't have an opinion on Slumbered Anna Monkey. The young people love it. Well, the real problem is the level of fanaticism it creates. You saw the group from before. They grew obsessed with the monkey and formed their own society. I think it's called the Slumbered Anna Association. They run publicity campaigns all across Dreamflux Reef under its banner. And they're not very friendly. Oh, yeah. those self-proclaimed banana maniacs just now? No one's tried to stop them? Uh, fads come and go. It's not all that unusual, even in Dreamflux Reef, so I didn't see a reason to intervene. Uh, besides, for a very long time, this was the only place in Penacony that had some freedom. Some things just shouldn't be changed. <laughs> Fine by me. If you won't deal with it, somebody else will. 
The Slumber Nana Association, huh? <laughs> Appreciate the tip, partner. One moment, Mr. Ranger. You haven't answered my question from earlier. Are you here chasing evil, or settling a grudge? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of madman to you? The answer is both. Any more than that is none of your business. <sighs> you still worried about something? Tell you what, buddy. Go to Jesse's shop next door. There's a tab for seven drinks. Settle that, consider my behavior here bought and paid for. Seven drinks? It may not be much, but it's still malt juice. I never break a promise to those who treat me. You can bet on that. The first time I met someone like that, I let myself get shot rather than betray him. Fad is just a fad. It always comes to an end. But if you're here for something else, then I won't pry further. Not making things easy here. You say you're a slumber and a monkey fan, but you can't even answer any of my questions. Wait, wait. I just let my mind for a moment. I think I got it. Number 20 is. is. may all see the world for what it is an arc waxing into perfection. What nonsense are you spouting? You'd best go home for now. The events we're holding over the next few days aren't like any other. Jumping on the bandwagon isn't going to nab you an entrance ticket. Hold it right there. Here for the Slumber Nana Association event, sir. Got your membership card with you? I'll need your member ID. What the banana Sunday are you talking about? Ugh. Another bandwagoner? Exit's over there, sir. We don't welcome anyone but true fans of Slumber Nana Monkey here. Oh, listen, buddy. Now don't make me repeat myself. I love me some bananas. You don't want to make things more complicated than they need to be. P put the gun down, sir. We can talk this out without going bananas. I gather you're keen on checking out the event? Well, that's fine and all, but I can't just let you in. If you're really interested, why not start off by learning more about Slumber Nana Monkey? You like that gal from just now? Gotta give a passphrase just to get through this door. No, it, it wasn't a passphrase, but an entrance test to become a member of the society. We're hosting an incredibly important event inside, after all. Everybody wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Sounds impressive. 
Sign me up, partner. Uh, it's a lot harder than it sounds. You won't be able to pass the test unless you're an expert on Slumber Dana Monkey. I might as well give it a shot. Gotta be easier than breaking my way in. Fine. The Slumber Dana Association is always happy to make more friends. Are you ready for the challenge? Now, which of these questions would you like to start with? Sunday. What kind of questions are these? Uh, looks like you're completely clueless about Slumber Nana. These are pretty much no-brainers, you know. Sorry, I, but I can't let you in for now. Partner, you're in luck. If this were my own business, I'd be making my way through by other means, but... Since I'm just lending a hand, I can't go raising too much ruckus. Okay, we'll do things your way. How hard can a few questions be anyway? Shall I give you a checkup? You learn fast, but this is an advanced singing technique after all. It won't do if you don't take good care of your throat. Uh, is something the matter, Miss Robin? Nothing's wrong. I was just worrying too much. Everything is looking good. I can't believe I just ran into a superstar. And in a place like this, too. <laughs> it's okay. This big brother here is a good man. Why don't you go and have fun somewhere else for now? Big bother. Um, maybe I should have just kept it at Mr. Would that have been better? In any case, Mr. Boothill, it seems you put your travels on hold after that incident, too. Are you enjoying your time in Penacony? Enjoying? <laughs> More like going bananas. <laughs> bananas? Oh, God! Just can't catch a break. Mr. Boothill, you... Uh -huh. Hang on. Sorry. Please keep still for a moment. What in the fork in hell are you doing? Uh. Oh. Fork! Fudge! Fudge! Holy shirt balls, I'm back to normal! I knew it. There's a noise around Mr. Boothill, too. Two? Sounds like you've encountered this before. So... What in tarnation's going on with all this bananas business? I wish I could tell you, but I still haven't figured out what it is. I've been visiting this place a lot lately, to teach the children how to sing. Giving up one's sweet dreams takes resolve, so it's my wish that music can bring them some solace. But as time passed, I started to notice something increasingly... Off 
about the Dreamflux Reef. <laughs> Slumber Nana Monkey. As I expected. It's come to your attention, too. The Memoria nearby has been mutating ever since Slumber Nana Monkey gained popularity. Even though the noise doesn't cause any tangible impact, it leaves me feeling awfully drained every time I use the power of harmony for tuning. I can't explain it. Other than that, I also paid a visit to the Slumber Nana Association. <sighs> I swung by that place, too. They let you join up. They didn't, unfortunately. Anyone who wishes to become part of the Summer Nana Association must undergo onerous entrance procedures before they can become one of them. Besides, even if I did succeed in infiltrating them, I would stand out too much. It makes more sense for me to focus on studying the noise instead. So you didn't pass the test either, huh? Well... Don't change the fact that I still gotta get in one way or another. Got any bright ideas? I can offer a few ideas on places you can make inquiries at. But why the sudden... Is something going on in Penacony? <sighs> Long story. I'll fill you in once I have more concrete details. But first... I have to pass that entrance test by hook or by crook. <sighs> Making inquiries, you say? Not a bad idea. <laughs> Heck, I, uh, why couldn't I be a fan of Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> Tough guys exploring their soft side are a thing these days. If all else fails, I got an easier solution to fall back on. I can just borrow a membership card from those little fudgeheads scrapping over turf earlier. <laughs> Easy peasy. Look like someone had placed that monkey beside my pillow. Well, you never know. You look really cute after all. Ah, uh, you. What? Wait a minute. Am I dreaming? Are you Miss Robin? Hello. Oh my! I was just listening to your newest album. What brings you to Dreamflux Reef? I've been frequenting this place lately, actually. We just hadn't crossed paths until now. Don't worry, you'll be seeing me around these parts for a while more. After all, the Slumber Nana Association's entrance test doesn't seem that easy. The Slumber Nana Association? Are, are you planning on becoming a member? I must be dreaming! Two of my favorite things together? Uh, I must be the luckiest man alive. Uh, if it's you, Miss Robin, then of course we must make an exception and let you in. You don't have to give me special treatment. I'm just a normal person, like every other Slumber Nana Monkey fan out there. But you know what they say. Good things come in pairs. There's no harm in making a concession sometimes. Here, bring this with you the next time you head over. They'll know what to do once they see it. And don't worry, we're still playing by the book. This is just to keep them from making things difficult for you. 